YouTube, hello, welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. We are on day number 10, and we are on chapter 9, going through some a lot of side quests today. It's only going to be a three-hour stream today, uh, so we're probably only going to have about a... It'll be about a two-hour VOD today, but it should be nothing but side quest intel gathering, looking around. Hopefully, we'll be able to find the Tonberry King, because I know that's on our agenda as far as the side quest that we picked up over in chapter 7, but we didn't have access to this area until just now. So, appreciate y'all watching. Hope you've been enjoying the series so far. If you haven't already, make sure you check out the other series we have here on the channel. I've got them all set up in playlist on my channel, so you can check it all really easily. Don't have to go digging through millions of videos. Should be pretty fun. Appreciate y'all watching. Hope you're enjoying, and we'll see you in a bit. Thanks for being here, YouTube. Uh, Barrett mastered his ability, right? Did we change his um, weapon over? We did not. Let's change him over to the new one, which has the charging uppercut. Get him two more abilities. What do we got? Synergy damage up is one I like quite a bit. I like max HP as well. ATB gauge by 5%. See, this is good because we have that auto, um, auto ability on for Barret, so I'm actually going to use that. And that increases overcharge damage by 15%. That's actually a really big number. We're going to do that as well. And that's all because we have the auto unique material on him so he's already using that on his own um so that's just a that's just a good thing for him to have i'll keep the kubo charm on him for now uh what was the um top up the overdrive gauge perfect okay great great uh tifa already maxed out her dragon claws we can actually switch her back to the kaiser knuckles um which is probably just gonna be her weapon honestly but we'll uh we'll see what was the psychic charm again immune to silence right okay i'm not opposed to that i think we probably just keep that on i do like the mixed one here um but maybe having the extra mp is is not bad Ooh, i like the immune to silence though i like the immune to silence i think we probably keep the immune to silence oh the one thing i want to do is i want to give yuffie the um yes the noble thieves gloves we could just do the luck earrings as well. Um, cause I think luck is the stat that, um, improves odds of stealing, but I think the thieves gloves are probably just better overall. Otherwise, why have them separate? Um, it is fascinating to me. We don't have skills on this. I'm, I'm just silly. Um, that she doesn't have four materia slots yet. Ooh, brave thief. That kind of matches up with the Faith Thief that we just gave her. Let's give her that. And then... Fire damage, why not? Well, we're in the we're in the desert. Maybe not fire damage. Let's just do HP. HP is just good overall. And now we have access to Kate Sith. Let's go ahead and move my camera really quick and see, uh, see what Kate Sith has. He's got the yellow megaphone. We obviously don't... Oh, we do have another one. Dope. So he's got roll a dice. Roll a die. Resulting effect varies depending on what number appears. Roll a one, three, or a six. Okay. He's, you know. Oh, it's already it's already mastered. We don't have to worry about that. Let's just switch to this immediately. And this one is fortune telling. Deal damage great or small or perhaps just get your fortune told. <laughs> Fun. Okay. Finish off an enemy. Dope. Comes with a fortress bracer, which I imagine is not very good. Surely we've got something better for him. Uh, we can give him the Enhanced Fortress Racer or the Illusionist Armband. Those are probably both better overall. Yeah. This one gives 23 magic defense, so we'll go ahead and give him that. Let's hook him up with a summon for now. More beans? Grace, thanks so much for the raid. Welcome on in, Raiders. My camera is on. I'm just in the way. <laughs> For those that don't know me, my name is G Mundy. You can call me G Mundy. You can call me Gary, whichever you prefer. Currently playing through Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. So if you're not interested in spoilers, I'm on chapter nine. We're gonna be doing a lot of side questing and stuff today. But if you're not, if you don't want to get spoiled, I totally understand. Thanks for joining with the raid. I appreciate y'all. We will have all this up over on the YouTube. So if you're interested in checking that out, my YouTube links down below, or I bet you Lemmy will post it in chat here shortly. Well, welcome on in, everybody. How good to see you, Grace. How was your stream? Welcome on in. It's good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Dina, hello, hello. Jeebus, hi, hi, hi. Delis, good to see you. Hi. How's everybody doing today? AI version, hello. Yeah, sounds good, Grace. I appreciate you. The, the Kate Sith is so good in this, Delis. <laughs> We're absolutely going to be using Kate Sith. 
Um, let's go ahead and hook him up with uh, Ifrit for now. And then... I don't actually know what he is here, so we're just going to give him a... Let's just give him the Speed Demon Keychain for now, because that's just generally good. Oh, what material did he have automatically? Let's see. He has Luck Up and Level Boost. Okay, dope. Empowerment, so Bravery and Faith. Oh, finally a Magnify Materia, dude. Oh my god, thank you. Okay, good. Let's put this down here so we have access to this. That's great. It's, it's one of the best games I've played, Delis, by a large margin. By a large margin. It's it's incredibly impressive. I am um, incredibly biased at the end of the day. Which is... Uh, <laughs> but, like, it is. it has been, quite simply, one of the best games I've played. It's, it's, it's incredibly impressive. Incredibly impressive. Uh, let's go ahead and get... It was triangle to change the party member, right? Hi. Okay. Let me see. Oh, it was square. There we go. There we go. And that way we've got three parties with all the characters. Yeah, they're there's and the way that their voice acted is just incredible. It's incredible. But yeah, all everything in this game is gorgeous. I'm very grateful that I've um made the decision to local record this too, because getting these up on YouTube in 4K, they they look so good. <laughs> I know I'm a little biased, but like, oh god, man, they're so good. They're so good. Um yeah, it looks amazing. It looks amazing. All right, looks like there's a side quest up top. So let's go ahead and run up top really quick. And then we'll head back to the gold saucer too, like we talked about, just to make sure that we don't miss anything there. Hmm. What do we got? Missing Mr. Birdie. Mr. Birdie's buddy in North Corral. Mr. Birdie didn't come home for dinner. No one knows where he is. We're worried something bad might have happened to him. Can anyone help us find him? Yeah. Here we can. Where you at? Right here? Mr. Birdie's buddies. We're on it. Yeah, we can't let that happen. Gotta save Mr. Birdie. What's up? To you. Oh. Oh, is that so? Well then, why don't you talk to this old fella instead? Old? <laughs> He's tough, tougher than he looks, and real good at solving people's problems, right? Old fella? Don't get all bent out of shape. Besides, I'll always be older than you. That's fair. Whatever. <laughs> What's the problem? Uh, you see, Mr. Birdie ran away and hasn't come back. Mm. Oh, Mr. Birdie is a bird friend of ours? Okay. His head is all pointy. Kind of like yours, mister. Damn. Pointy, huh? I bet they're talking about Cloud Jr. Maybe. Who's that? Your bird friend. He had a run-in with a nasty fiend, and we saved his tiny behind. No way! You guys! Grandpa said he saw Mr. Birdie heading toward the desert. What? But we aren't allowed to go all the way out there. I got it. You just leave it to us. We'll find your friend. Really? Promise. Great. Grandpa said there's some old bird houses out in the desert that people built back in the Republic days. Ooh, I think we saw some of those. Set traps. Oh, and my mommy told me you can craft them yourself. If you've got the right chip. Oh, cool. In that case, we'd better figure out how to... He's now KFC, dams. <laughs> this is where uh, Chadley comes in and tells me we don't have the transmutership for that. I've heard about your plight. If you wish to learn more about the Republic of Junon, 
I recommend visiting Life Springs. Yeah. The knowledge they contain will reveal the location of transmitter chips. Gotcha. All right then. Let's go find our bird, buddy. And we will, but first, we won't. <laughs> but first, we won't. Because we'll need to um we'll need to get those traps made, which means we're gonna have to do some exploring first. So we're gonna go back to the gold saucer, get that portion of it done, and then we'll um we'll do some like general world mappage. Let's go back to the gold saucer and get some of this stuff done first. The fact that we can just fast travel to the gold saucer is insane. Hmm. So good. Time for some quiet reflection. That's a good one. <laughs> David, welcome on in. Good to see you. Happy Monday. Hope you're doing well. Hope you had a nice day today. Um, I bet you there's new. Well, we got another battle score first. Holding on to my hat. I'm in. My hat's held. Are we there yet? Thank you. What's ET short for? He's only got little legs. Lol. Two muffins were sitting in an oven. The first looks over to the second and says, Man, it's really hot in here. The second looks over with to the first <laughs> the surprise looking at her. Whoa, a talking muffin. Ah. <laughs> Not bad, David. Not bad. Had a decent weekend. Looking forward to playing some more rebirth. Are you interested in joining the fray? ET joke felt personal. It is a little, yeah. <laughs> Pushing 80, 80 carts. <laughs> Extreme thirst, huh? <laughs> so, team members, party of three. A series of battles for six persons, six person groups. Okay. Let's see how this one plays out. I'm interested. I'm intrigued. That's a lot of bitches. I haven't assessed these yet, huh? Too bad. Large insects with voracious appetites found in mountains re mountainous regions. True omnivores, they eat everything from plants to carrion, even other insects. They possess strong legs and use them to pounce at anything that moves. Just have to exploit their weakness. <laughs> Believe me, if I could sell it, I would. <laughs> There you go. That make you feel better? <laughs> that was well timed. Ah, I see, so it switches over. Neat. Maximum Fury! That was close. <laughs> Let's just hit the guy in the middle. Hit the one in the middle! Hit the one in the middle! <laughs> this battle theme is very good. That was fun. That's good to know then. So it splits between the two parties for the two for the two battles. So you can set up the um, the two teams to match up against the two fights that you're doing. I like that. That's fun. 
Hmm. Another one. We get gold saucer points for this, so we're going to be doing all of them. This time, let's try playing as Kate Sith and see what happens. I was avoiding it because there's a lot of enemies on the ground, and I'm worried that that might, uh... Yeah, might not be good. But you know what? We're going to try it anyway. What's the worst that can happen, right? Don't overdo it. Kate Sith fights with a megaphone and his trusty Moogle mount. Press square to attack or summon his Moogle with a Let's Ride ability, which will unlock more of Kate Sith's ATB commands. As the Moogle attacks, his triangle meter will steadily fill. Press the button to deplete the meter and activate Moogle abilities like fight or defense. While astride the Moogle, hold down square to attack alongside your fuzzy pal. Press circle to dismount and triangle to remount. The Moogle will withdraw from the fight once its HP reaches zero, but can be summoned again at will. Leave it to me. Okay. Uh oh. Let's do. That worked out. <laughs> that worked out. Holy shit, that did so much damage. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> My gosh. Okay. Let's windstorm here. Hyper beam! <laughs> Dang it. That's so fun. We're going to be playing a lot of Kate Sith today, I imagine. That's going to be fun. I'm excited. Ooh, some flans. Um, is this an AOE? Like, so if I heat wave this one in the front, don't they all just. Mm -hmm. Jedi? Probably not. Probably not. That's you're asking the right questions though, honestly. <laughs> That's the right question to ask. Ooh, level 37. I don't think we're gonna be able to white beat this one, but we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna give it a shot. These are the ones that are weak to win. Ooh, did I see Saberhawk? I haven't gotten that one yet. Let's take the Fleet Wings out first. Looks like this one might be weak to um, fire. A rare Spearhawk variant that has become even more proficient at using its horn, skewering foes like a master fencer. Splitting its elemental weakness will bear. Don't overdo it. Oh, never, this one's a <laughs> That's so fun, dude. <laughs> okay. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> Dodge and dive. Okay. Let's do fortune telling. Holy shit. What the fuck, dude? He's so good. <laughs> the bat-like things sound like eagles. They do kind of, yeah. 
They do. I think they're hawks, technically. <clears throat> Ooh, are those like the evolved ones, like the monster ones? I see why this one's stronger then. Elite security officers too, okay. I don't have a sess for this, but it's okay. Put your lifesaver on. And steel skin. Switch to Aerith. Ow. Let's get the Radiant Ward up. Oh shit. Were these weak to again? Nothing. Never mind, we got it. These fights are so fun. Ooh, steadfast block material earrings are very good. We'll see if we can do this one too. We have to do the G bike again, right? Because didn't we miss that by like a hundred points or something like that? Oh no. Um. Okay. Yeah. Over. Hyper beam. We're in trouble. I don't think either of these is going to matter. I think we're going to die here. Maybe not. Nice. That was close. Yeah, those things are are not easy for me in particular to fight. I think the status effects are pretty important there. We have to like use sleep and stuff. Which means if we have to fight those again in the second round, we're probably doomed. Ah, uh, this actually isn't as bad, unless that jellyfish on the left is a different one. No, this actually should be okay. Oh, 
That second one was not nearly as hard as the first one. <laughs> not nearly as hard as the first one. We'll take that. Thank you. Cool. What's next? 39. Push off. Ooh, a petrify thing. And a zoo. Zoo shouldn't be too bad. Here we go. I'd have to block that. Kira. Don't overdo it. Leave it to me. I'll make Vince be a good. Oh, no. Ow. You know what's from here? Oh, are you kidding? That's such a bad luck thing, man. I can't believe it got the fucking tornado off as soon as I was hitting Braver. That sucks. Bummer. <laughs> that was close. Yikes. Death loss first. I guess the poison thing first, actually. Leave Earth alone, please. Do you stop locking onto that one and lock onto the one that's right next to you, please? Good lord. Okay. 
Can I still win this? <laughs> Dope. Oh yeah, another one in the bag. Yes, she is. That one was also very tough. Probably should be waiting until we're actually the level that it's asking us to be, but like. Doesn't stop us from trying, at least, right? Oh. Well, hi, Bert. What are you doing here? Let's go. Keep it up. Sloppy. Somebody to explain how the fuck that happened to me. That was something. Yep, he sure did. <laughs> he sure did. That was something. Um, This one might be a little tough. I'm going to give it one more shot. I'm not too pressed about like grinding this super hard. We can do the exploration and the intel stuff. And always come back to this. Because this guy's the problem. Get ready. What honestly, my good dude? Calling fire. Yeah! 
Oh, I did not mean to drop in. Uh oh. I didn't realize it wouldn't knock out of the, uh, I didn't realize the hit stun from the missiles would stop me from using the, uh, limit break. That sucks. I got one more shot and then we're done. We'll go back outside or go to the next, uh, area. Cause we didn't need to do the G bike thing. We still got to go back and do, um, there's something else that we weren't allowed to do, right? Chocobo races. That thing's a problem. As much as I'd like to focus Burt down and just get him out of the way. And he immediately died when I switched off him. I was wondering if maybe I'd get some iframes when mounting it, but Something no. That was. Oh. It's all right, Kate. <laughs> it's not that serious, man. Jeez. All right. We'll keep it moving. Once I learn how to fight with Kate, Sith, we'll come back. To learn more.
Time for mini games. Want to step inside the ring? Head to our entrance counter to learn more. Stamp plushies right here. Get them. Muscle in and exchange your gold saucer points for fabulous. Got to get ourselves a stuffed bomb. And this is replenishable, so we can just come back and get this later if we need to. We hope to see your sinewy self again soon. Looking for a Dio t-shirt? We got you. Looking for a Dio t-shirt? Nope. Yes, the square, and I'll get you there. We want to get to... Was it Wonderment that had all the minigames? I think it was Wonderment, yeah. Yeah, it was Wonderment. That is a fair point. Dio does not wear t-shirts. Now, if you tried to sell me a Dio cape... Is there, there's a Queen's Blood tournament here? We might not leave the gold saucer today. <laughs> we may not leave the gold saucer today. Okay, uh, we need to get to rank three. Now that I know that I have to break, I should be a little bit better at this, but we'll see. I wasn't very good the first time either, so. Room, room. Let's go! Nice. And we got 200 gold saucer points. Looks like you can redo that one to continue like grinding up gold saucer points, which is nice. 
We'll do the 3D Brawler last. Got your deck in order. Yes. Put your QB skills to the test with the Gold Saucer's Queen Blood challenges. Oh, they're just challenges. Okay, cool. Using a freebie card and support cards from the whole game on its head with gimmick battlefields or attempt grueling survival challenges in which you rack up as many points as possible in a finite number of rounds. check here this is the boot camp so let's just do the support card one because this is how we're going to get a whole bunch of uh extra cards too that mithril golem card's pretty good what we got uh no and no the fuck okay Chels, thanks so much for the raid. Welcome on in, Raiders. For those who don't know me, my name is G Mundy. You can call me G Mundy. You can call me Gary, whichever you prefer. Currently playing through Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. We are on chapter number nine, doing a lot of uh, mini games and side quests and stuff. So if you want to dump out before you uh, get any spoilers, I totally understand. I appreciate you joining with the raid. Hope everybody's doing well tonight. Chels, hope you had a great stream. Rap Boy, welcome on in. Chels, good to see you. Hope everybody's doing well. We do a variety of stuff here, but we're playing through Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and exclusively Final Fantasy VII Rebirth at the moment. So, lots of Final Fantasy content on the channel the last couple of months. It's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun. Chelsea, what were you streaming today? How, how you doing? Hope you had a fun stream. Welcome on in, everybody. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Cult of Lamb, nice. <laughs> Did you good? <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> okay. Let's just do... I don't want to do that just yet. Hmm. We're gonna try to be card sharks, yeah. <laughs> That's the hope. <laughs> um, I guess I have to waste the uh, the bottom slot here. It's really the only one I can think of. I guess we do this. Hmm, smart. Yeah, it's smart. see rap boy thank you for the 100 bits i don't know why the alert didn't go off it should have maybe it's delayed my bit alerts are back on we found that out yesterday <laughs> rap boy thank you for the 100 bits it'll pop through eventually here um alert got trapped you're not wrong <laughs> You are not wrong. All right, I wanna put pressure down, so let's do this. <laughs> That's okay. Ooh, interesting. You activated my trap card, friendo. Yeah, you're done. You're done. And then I believe slamming Shiva here gives us the win. GG! We have to be careful now because they could have replacement cards, remember? So we have to we have to actually like force the issue here. Ooh, shiny. Well there goes the audio portion. The visual never popped up. Rap boy, thanks for the hundred bits again. I appreciate it. 
Hmm. What the fuck is that? Grass, grass tropod? When first enhanced, lower the power of allied net. Wow. For the new card to appear, you're not wrong. It was pretty well timed. <laughs> huh, that's a really good card. These three cost cards we're getting are really good. Hmm. Uh, actually, this isn't a bad opener. What are these? Raises the power of allied cards on affected tiles by three while this card's in play. That's really good, too. Okay. So we want that one in the middle, right? The problem is, is it doesn't add anything, right? So we're going to want to put some stuff in those slots first. They're good cards, but got to be careful with it first. Let's do this one. I didn't switch Hellrider out, I forgot. Okay. Do this. This forces him to either put a card in that corner or move one of his dots out. Part. Okay, now I'll risk it. No, it didn't. Okay, good. Yep, got him. Those are fun cards, man. I'm waiting to play against the guy that has an all cactar deck. You know it's coming. You know it's coming. Custom Valkyrie. When played, lower the power of allied and enemy cards on affected tiles by four. That's really good, too. Wow. That is a big score, yeah. Our deck's getting pretty, uh, getting pretty good. All right, get rid of the Shiva. You probably got rid of the Flame Trooper there too. I'm on the other side. It says behind enemy lines. <laughs> huh? I'm suddenly not uh, not regretting getting rid of the Flame Trooper now. We are going to lose. Oh, yeah. No. Ooh, we might have to make an entirely different deck for this.
Because stuff like this doesn't really do us any good. Right? Because it's facing the wrong way now. Yeah, we're going to have to have an entire deck of stuff that goes backwards. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, no, that's ridiculous. Fleet Wings? No. Yeah. We're going to have to make an entire new deck. Okay, so we need stuff that goes backwards. So we need two of these. We're gonna need two of these. Uh, two of the crawlers. We'll do two of the flame troopers. Um, we can do two fleet wings as well. do again nothing we'll do a double rider three costs somewhere. Do we want to do sea devil, I suppose? Maybe not. Maybe we just stick to the low cost cards. Okay, having Shiva in the deck still. Because it's still a good slam card when we're trying to win. I'll throw the two replacement cards in there. Maybe Dio is the one. Let's try that. Let's see how this works. Not a whole lot of rhyme or reason to this deck, but it'll uh, at least get some cards on the board. Let's get rid of this one. And... Yeah, that's it for now. One of those, if you can't beat them, join them type of games, feel me? Put it there. I can steal it back, I suppose. Yeah, I can steal it back, it's fine. Damn, he kind of got me. Um, could do this.
Hmm. I screwed this up somehow. That sucks. Ah, uh, we won. Somehow. Sheesh. That's a tough one. These are tough. Let's try a regular deck this time. A top and bottom match, maybe, yeah. <laughs> that was fun. Chadley the Callus, huh? I kind of want to get rid of the replacement card, too. I, we don't really have a good spot for that right now. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. What is this? Replace it. Oh, another replacement card. Great. Replace an ally and raise the power of allied cards and affected tiles by the re, by the replaced ally's power. Oh, that's really good. That means he's got that too, though. We need to be careful. seem like they, it just seems like they know you know because now i have to play this inefficiently in order to take that otherwise he's gonna steal that spot from me i can do this this is probably my best play bummer okay worked out did it though We have to do this. It is, uh, it is over, friend. Feel better? Yes. Ugh. 
37 to 0. Fuck you, Chadley. When played, destroy allied and enemy cards on affected tiles. That's ridiculous. I love that. Love that for us. Ifrit's 32-bit flames. Begin the match with po polygonal Ifrit placed in the center of the battlefield. This flame-shaping summon puts players through a trial of fire as he enhances any cards, be they allied or enemy, on the affected tiles surrounding him. Okay. Oh, that's a really cool card. When first enfeebled, lower the power of enemy cards on affected tiles by six. Holy shit. That just wipes out a row. Cool. Alright, let's see what we got. <laughs> Scared of the uh, replacement card too here. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. trying to bait me to come out. Do they have a, sp a peg there? They don't, right? I can't tell because the plus two's there. It doesn't look like it. So can't we just, can't we just do this? I don't think they can stop us. just win right like we just win cool <laughs> cool cool That was a fun one. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> yeah, the hardest one was the behind enemy lines one. That was dope. That was a fun little challenge. That's a cool card too. All right. Compete in a relatively forgiving match spanning three rounds to see how many total points you can accrue. Win and receive a reward based on your point total. We can get a Sephiroth card? I'm in. I'm in. We'll keep using the deck that we have been using. Okay. Uh, no Shiva. Two Gigantars, okay. When you win with this card in the lane, add a random Cactar to your hand. So we want to make sure we win that lane then. I don't think I've seen that card before. each enhanced enemy card I see okay it does say cac in the box yeah cac in the box so instead of jack in the box it says cac in the, in the box not not in a box not in a box 
Very important to certain. Like, <laughs> there is a difference. <laughs> um. Okay, we're okay. I didn't draw a card there. I have to be careful here because if I what does that put him up to six I think we still win though nope sure don't because of course his last card was a mithril fucking golem okay bummer I didn't realize we were gonna stop drawing cards If I play this card against this deck, it's not going to work. Because it just makes him stronger. Mm. Let's play it up and see what happens. does give it another power but it's just for each enhanced enemy card so I can enhance those two cards as many times as I want he's already getting the points for it anyway fuck it I still didn't beat it though I lost by two. Fuck me. I almost need like a perfect hand. I could just not play buff cards, but if I don't, I'm probably gonna get fucked. I can't, well, and I need to get that Mithril Golem in the deck too, because it's better than the Hell Rider. Unless I can get three tiles. Getting three tiles out that far is way too hard though. Shiva's a good one. Because I can just pile on a bunch of threes in the back. So maybe we dip the Hell Rider and try to get like. Hmm. These cactars are gonna fuck me though.
shit. He's got me again. I'll have to do this. Oh my god. Well, we're fucked. Oh, I won. Wow. Oh, we can't mulligan this turn? That matters. <laughs> that matters. the middle card when the round ends spawn cards and enemy positions that raise your score equal to that position's rank and empty positions gotcha this is just shiva so okay so this adds up over time then okay i get it now So that'll give me six, eight in the middle. And then I've got the win on the bottom. So I, but he'll also get a four there. Okay, hold on, math. So I get eight, he gets nine. So I'm gonna have to play something different in the middle here than the Shiva thing. Ooh, but it's not gonna be strong enough. Do I lose? Oh, I'm going to lose, huh? Yeah, I lose. This round, at least. Alright, I'm just going to pass and let it slam. Oh, he still had a... He still had a fucking card left. I thought he... Didn't he pass? I got fucking memed. I think we're tied.
Oh, that's so fucking good. You're telling me this bitch top decked this? Fuck you. No way. <laughs> Whatever, dude. That's bullshit. I win. Sheesh. Well, I also didn't realize that it wasn't actually versus. It was just trying to get as many points as you could. But like, it still is versus, but still. Ooh, that hurt my brain. All right, we got gold sauce. We got Sephiroth. Yeesh. I'm already scared of this. Left and right, then the limit break. Take note of your opponent's special skills on the brawler selection screen. This will reveal what maneuvers they typically employ and how to defend against them. Okay. Okay. I mean, no, I'm not ready to rumble, but... Shitty, but ready whenever. Come on, then. Nothing personal. Okay. A fat Moogle, oh boy. Oh, now they're throwing in other uh, other ways to dodge. Good, great, wonderful. You have to do up and up if he does it straight, and then if he does the hook. Woof. Okay. so hard to tell with this one. Sure. Okay. That just retry. Yeah.
Oh, it's up. I was hitting down. That was up as well. Okay. I hit up, but that's fine. this game <laughs> this one kind of bores me damn it Yeah, it's not very fun. I love the designs. No, you're right, it wasn't. I'm ending this. Uppercut in a straight. Okay. That should be a little more telegraphed at least, but. What's the reward for this? Silver Brawler's Gloves? That was an uppercut? Okay. hit the button I again hit the button that was that was cool I love that they just add a new mechanic in without teaching you it that was that was dope really forgiving there super fun was sloppy. Yeah. Like I said, it's just not very fun. I'll just do it offline. It's not that big of a deal. No point wasting our time. Let's head to the Gill Exchange, see what they've got. I sure do. What do you got? You got a figurine? Got a brawler figurine? Ah, and the uh, Red 13 thing. We've got a lot of SP, actually, or uh, GP, rather. Make sure to come back once you've racked up more points. Yeah, all finished. Your voice sounds familiar. Alrighty, so we need to go to just Chocobo, right? Was there anything else in Speed Square? In I think it was just Chocobo. Welcome, I am living the dream. You. Hope you're doing well, Harley. It was pretty fun for the one that we had to do. Oh, we already got everything from here. I think we did everything here, but 
just double check and make sure there's not like a second Space Warriors thing. Yeah, looks like we're good. Oh, that's right, I forgot about that. About being able to toggle the different shops. Yeah, we already did all this. Take off. Death roll or here we go. Stuff fat chocobo, giga potions. The loveless card. Stuff Tonberry, Secrets of the Ninja, Haunted Hotel, X Potions. Is it worth it is a tough question. <laughs> It's not bad. It's 5% to attack and magic, I think. Okay, I'll show you in a sec here. It wasn't incredibly um, challenging, though, to be fair. Skywheel card. Stuff Chocobo. Art of Sword play. Chocobo Jockey. Nice. All right, so everything that's left now is just stuff that we can buy forever, so. Make us proud, Space Ranger. Good deal. And we got exactly how much we needed. Uh, let's see. D. Where is it? Fate Ranger Service Medal. Strength and Magic Power plus five percent. So I mean, it's okay. It's not bad, but it's just it's just fine. It's not it's not anything great. Yeah. Yeah, no, they're all they're all pretty um, manageable. I guess is the correct way to phrase it. Um, okay. Let's go do some chocobo races. If any unlocked, I think they did. Chocobo Square. Yeah, then it's worth getting then. If it'd be fun for you to use, go for it. I will have a magical day, thank you. Is there always? Oh, we need um more plumes. Oh. The following races are scheduled. Yeah, the sit-up thing is going to be one that I uh, will likely do offline as well. <laughs> oh, wow. There's like a whole bunch of things. Okay. We have to pay to play? All right. Oh, fun. No, I just know it's not fun. Like, it's not going to be fun to watch, so why bother? <laughs> um, hmm. Bird shot, rock solid, speed burst. Rock solid, enhance your traction, be prevent being knocked back. This gauge is full gain the ability to fire up to three blasts of travel in a straight line and send rivals reeling. Probably just do the regular one, the, the speed burst. This seemed to work for us last time, so. Forty percent, right? <laughs> I don't even remember what the champion belt did in uh, in remake. To be honest with you, by the time I'd actually completed that challenge, it was like it was not needed at that point in the game. I missed hitting the X button at the right time there. Oh, this looks like the same uh, as the tutorial round. Oh, 
Oh, I went through both of them? That sucks. I went in the middle of all those, too. I went in the middle of those, too? Come on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Drive me fucking nuts. We should still be fine. Next! Ah, oh, that's a bummer. That's a bummer. I suppose that's the one downside of having to, of streaming it, is that I can't just play it whenever. I have to wait until I stream. <laughs> but other than that, I, it actually helps when I have other things to do, because at least I know I'm already not streaming at that point, so. it again. Stop bumping into me, you fucks. Oh, we could have cut across there. Noted. Cut that a little tight. yellow ones on the right side. Mm. Right, for real, considering the fact that they released a Chocobo Racing game that wasn't even half as good as this. <laughs> Almost fell off the ledge. <laughs> that would not have been good. Well, they're actually keeping pretty good pace this time.
It's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty good. You know, it seems like we came out to a uh, pretty sizable lead here. So we're just gonna, um... <laughs> oh, we're bronze! Yeah, we'll just keep, uh... We'll just keep using Pico. I think they handled it pretty well. A cactar derby. This one looks pretty easy. Interesting. turn at the end there. Hopefully I don't fuck that up in the last lap. That would be awkward. Oh, man. Missing that kind of sucks. Yeah, being able to have a preset would be pretty dope. Make it a little bit easier. I didn't even realize there's like a whole description over there. Bomb balloons will explode and slow you down if you get too close, okay? Yeah, sounds good, Baku. Have a good night. Thanks for being here.
How did you miss that, Pico? Fuck. I don't know if I'm going to catch him. that I'd have had this in the bag. Shit. Still got it. Yikes, that was close. Looks like we got five more left. See if we can get through them all. Yeah, great job, Pico. It's flawless so far. Malboro Memorial. I didn't read the description again, so. We're riding in blind. Next time, just fly. Drifted the wrong way.
You know what the hardest part about this minigame is? Holding the X button. gotta hold it forever right <laughs> like forever all right here we go that's a cute course God, how many Chocobo races are there if this is just the bronze race, dude? Yeah, for real, though. I gonna say, can I just cut them off? Like... Taking the shortcuts. Open. <laughs> That's so stressful. I think we've got this one in the bag, though. Can you imagine you could just fly over to the end? <laughs> That'd be fun. Stress with the glide, yeah. <laughs> You're not wrong though, speedrunners likely will find a way. Woo! Silver! Oh, we can only get to silver. Yikes. Well, we need to get the hat. You're telling me I can get a debonair hat? A debonair chest and some debonair greaves for my chocobo? Who am I to say no? Oh. Oh, I can skip this? Hallelujah. Did 
This track looks short as fuck. No way. Oh. It's gonna be like that. Are you kidding? Can you let me around it? Are we kidding? The fuck? Well, now we're definitely fucked. Yeesh. L2 should really be slowed down, not look backwards. The fact that circle is slowed down is very weird. Okay, we still got a chance, but it's fleeting. We're gonna need like a massive speed boost at the end here. Oh, I just saw that. Was that a shortcut? Think we're gonna catch up in time. Now nah, we're not gonna make it. Fuck. That was a better third lap, though. I think if I didn't get cucked that hard in the first try, in the first round, we probably would have been fine. Fucking thumb. <laughs> it's all bent. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll be okay. That does look like a little shortcut on the left there. I want to go that way so bad, but I'm afraid the one time I do, it's going to fucking cuck me. I see the path there. We should be fine to do that.
I wonder if they'll make a, uh, <laughs> I wonder if they'll make, like, a high scoreboard for these, uh, for, like, top track times. Yeah, it would be neat. I know that people tend to like, you know, there are people, a lot of people who cheat on those kind of boards, but still, I think it'd be fun. A race famous for its bestial brawls. Make sure your bird isn't tossed around. Make sure it's weighted down with the right gear. So it wants you to be uh, heavier weighted than this one. Which would not be Pico this time. I think Pico can still win. Gotcha again. Ooh, this is a long one. Okay, Pico. It's okay, Pico. We can always come back and finish these later. There's gonna be another opportunity to come back to the gold saucer anyway. I kinda wanna go into the open world a little bit. Alright. Because we spent the entire stream inside the gold saucer. <laughs> Let's do, yeah, there we go. Let's do some divine intel. Oh, man. Right. <laughs> uh, how do I call the buggy again? Can you climb up there? our prayer materia at seeing that it just leveled up almost there 
900 more AP. All right, we need to get Barrett back in the party temporarily so, so we can get that, um, what's it called? That uh, ability mastered. Let's give Kate Seth a healing materia and a wind. I feel like we don't have enough wind coverage. Yeah, let's do wind. Down for wind. Let's switch to the Barrett party for a bit. And let's figure out how to actually get in here. Oh, is it the grapple? Can I not? Why can't I? Close enough, I guess. According to legends passed down in Corel, whenever humanity strays from the proper course, Alexander appears to render his righteous judgment. His pronouncements are absolute and cannot be defined. Interesting. Thank you, Alexander. We got one more to get. Then we should be able to beat down Alexander. Mm -hmm. Thanks to you, Cloud, I was able to successfully extract data on the deity. That's it? All you had to say? I don't think that required a cutscene. Be absolutely honest with you you know i was talking to jd about this offline i feel like chadley talks a little too much he yaps a lot it's suspicious why is he yapping so much yeah why? Ah, uh, let's head to this tower. Beep, beep. That's so fucking cool, dude. I still can't get over the environments in this game. All right, here we go. got headlights. Don't flip it. In there. Anyone else think it'd be fun to climb one of those things?
I do these already? Charging up or cut. Okay. What do you mean left the party? Oh, it ate them. Oh, it just ate him. Okay, great. That was dangerous. Was a little rude. Look at Barrett just swinging. <laughs> ah. That'll do. Probably heal, huh? Botanical fiends of the succulent variety mainly found in arid regions noted for their adorable flower blooming on their heads. Although typically calm and reserved, once they start running, they become a wild, unstoppable force. Combat simulator updated, nice. This should wrap around. I can't believe how big these areas are now. 
Maybe we should check the transmutator again. I know we just looked at this the other day, but like, we're getting a lot of um, maxed resources out. Maybe we should just start making some of these. We don't have enough sink ore. We haven't gotten the uh, planet splendor yet, which I imagine is the next new area. We've already made that. We haven't made this yet, though. Supernatural risk cards. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't think we need two boiler valves, so we're going to leave that alone. Um... I mean, I guess we'll chill for now. Oh, at least we can make some cushions. That's something we can use this stuff for. There we go. Are we close to the... Oh, yeah, I guess we are. Oh, we can't get back up here. Okay. I gonna say, I don't really want to jump all the way back down here if I can't get back up, but I can. Been a little while since we've seen a little chocobo. I'm in. Where you at? Got a pair of chocobo stop tax. <laughs> Since we made all those cushions, may as well heal. As you do. to do some Moogle hunting. Well, hello there, Moogles. Hello there, Moogles. Oh, boy. Okay, here we go. Would you mind rounding up all the Mooglets for yes. me? Yes. I mind. Convoluted as hell, but it worked. Reset here. <laughs> oh shit.
Okay. Three down, two to go. That could have gone worse. You're a lifesaver, Koopo. Oh man. You're such a great help, Koopo. As a reward. You know, ever since they haven't zoomed in on the teeth, I've actually I'm not minded the Moogles. I think they're fine. The teeth bother me though. But he never gave up. He kept on practicing, undeterred. Put a good mug noticed how hard he was working and decided she would do everything in her power to support him as time passed the two became closer and closer until one day <laughs> i'll leave the rest to your imagination they fuck just kidding sorry thanks for coming to our moogle emporium all right what do you got what do you got we've got the vibro detector It's a key item, so I'm gonna get it. But. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Anyway. Feel free to drop by any time. Fibro detector, huh? Inventory. Key items. It says device de capable of detecting subterranean tremors. I imagine we're going to need that for something at some point, but uh, you got me. I <laughs> No idea. No idea. And folks, that's where we're going to call it for tonight. YouTube, if you made it this far, appreciate you watching. If you haven't already, make sure you like the video, comment, and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed our gold saucer day. Uh, when we come back next time, which is going to be this Saturday, we're going to be playing through some more of the uh, the open world. And we may go back to the uh, the golden saucer too, if there's something else there that I think would be fun to stream. But, uh, but yeah, appreciate y'all being here, YouTube. Thanks so much for watching. And as always... We'll see you again in the next one. Have a great night, YouTube. Bye.